Hi there, guys. Um, it's Mr. Chan again. I'm just going to be teaching you uh, or showing you what to kind of look out for when you're actually giving feedback to someone for their drafts and for their final poster. Um, or if it's a video game or you're recording, it's the same kind of thing. Um, so here's an example of a, a Google form that you're going to be uh, writing in and I'm just going to do an example for you. So um, whenever you get, um, when you're going to get a draft for uh, your, when you actually actually have to do feedback for someone's draft, you're going to get their proposal and you're also going to get their posters. So for example, let's pretend that these are Fatima's posters and this is her proposal. So um, first and foremost, we're going to write our um, email. So this is my email. That I'm going to write. Um, and then your full name, yeah. And then what are you providing feedback for? This is going to be uh, Fatima's Husseini's poster, uh, poster drafts, right? If it was her final one, you would just write final poster, right? Okay, so, but this time I'm doing poster drafts. So describe their project. So this is where you look at um, their proposal and just look at the uh, outcome statement and problem issues. So it um, says that she's making a message to students of Mangare College about, a, it's a poster about students buying unhealthy food. Uh, some of the unhealthy foods being sold in our school are blah, 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 blah. And that's not good because it causes um, obesity, diabetes, heart disease, cancer. She wants to uh, make sure people are eating healthy so that they can uh, obviously stay healthy. So I'll write something like uh, Fatima is making a poster about healthy eating at Mangaya College. She hopes to inform students about the negative side effects of eating unhealthy um, and um, ho and hopes that her poster will convince students to choose more healthy eating options. For example, that's good. Um, so how satisfied were you with their project? So that's when you look at all of these posters, right? So for example, um, in my situation, I'll kind of look at them and well, in general, you look at them and see how they feel. Like, does it, does it look like a good poster or does it look, it doesn't look up to standard? Do you feel like it's something that um, would look good at school? Do you think that students that walk by it will, will, it will capture their attention? Do you think that the pictures are appealing? Do you think the text is easy to read? Those are the kinds of things that you want to take into account. And basically this question is saying, what is your overall feeling about these posters? So when I look at these ones, these are pretty decent. Um, this one, I, I don't think that it's um, enough um, pictures to, like if you looked at this from a distance, you wouldn't know what this one's about. So um, this one overall, I think there are some things that need to be changed, but this one, this one, this one look pretty good in terms of the colors. They're, they're really appealing to look at. Um, it's clear that this is talking about food. This one is talking about food. That one's talking about food. Um, the writing is clear from a distance. This one is two. This one is two. So I'll say overall uh, four, for example, if we were, we we're pretending this is Fatima's posters, I, I yeah, um, in this situation. So um, I would have given five if this was, uh, if this was actually uh, um, had images that showed and if uh, showed what the poster was about and if the, the text was a little bit easier to read, like this one's not very easy to read, for example. So how relevant and helpful do you think the information was? So let's read. Um, healthy drinks, uh, water, okay, cool. Eat fresh. So it, this one doesn't have any information about, so it says drink more water. Okay, so it, it does tell us um, to drink more water and fruits and vegetables are good and eat fresh and you want to eat low fat food. So yes, it does give us information, but I think it doesn't give us enough information in terms of posters that I expect from you guys. Um, see at the bottom here, it does, it's, it's just gibberish uh, because this, is, this, this poster is not, this is just the template. It's not telling, informing us enough about how to eat healthily. Um, this one's the same thing. It doesn't say anything. Um, but this one does. So let's have a look. Sweet processed foods, rarely. Um, but this one, so it does tell us um, a little bit about 
different types of food. So this one is saying this one's got less than 10% calories, this one's got 10% to 40% calories, but it doesn't tell us how we can eat more healthy, like what, 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 how much of each foods we can eat, for example. Um, so it's, it, it, it tells us um, the amount of calories, but it doesn't tell us what we should actually do. So that's not particularly good. Um, always think twice if we eat fried food, sweets, briskets, cool. Um, one or two pieces, how much food each day. So this is actually really informative. The problem with this one is that um, the text is hard to read and there's no pictures to demonstrate. So I would say about a two actually, because it's, uh, it's not, it, it, or, or most of these, don't, these three don't actually tell me much about how to eat healthy. Uh, what were your t key takeaways from this project? Um, for team is, posters teach me um, a couple of is about calories and how much um, different types of food uh, um, teaches me how many calories are in different types of food so that was this one I believe no this one so talking about calories uh, this one it didn't teach me anything at all um, and this one taught me to drink more water, eat fresh, l eat low fat foods and eat fruits and vegetables and healthy drinks. So, um, um, what types of foods are more healthy, like fruits and vegetables, um, water, um, low fat foods. And let's have a look at the other ones. What did we learn from this one? How much food each day? Yeah. Um, and the amount of diff of, um, vegetables, meat and fruit to eat each day. But most of the about three of the posters don't have information about uh, it l doesn't have enough information to tell me um, what I could do to eat healthy um, at school and what Um, this could be more clear. Some posters, one poster does not have any information at all about healthy eating. So, um, when you do this, you have to mention which posters you mean as well. So, um, this is the one I was talking about just then. So. Uh, I would describe it. So if you if you're making feedback here, you can just write the po this is the poster with uh, two. Let's have a look at it. This one here with I can't. Sorry guys, I I can't see colors properly. I'm colorblind, so I'm just gonna guess. This is, looks like a bluey green, and this is a orange. I'm gonna say um, with two um, sides, a one with. Uh, a blue green background and another with an orange background um, and then see but three of the posters doesn't have enough information to tell me what I could do to eat healthy at school this could be more clear um, I can uh, the own uh, so the only poster that doesn't have uh, that is more is informative is the one with no pictures. So now, since I've mentioned this is the one with m more with the information with with enough information, she knows that she would know that these ones don't. Does that make sense? Um, so yeah, yeah, obviously. So this is this is the kinds of things you don't have to do it exactly like this, but this is the amount 
of um, information I expect from you guys to write in feedback. Um, look at each single poster um, and and tell the um, the student what they need to add, what they need to take away from each one. If is the images appealing? Is the words easy to read? Um, is it is it actually informative? Is it teaching us? Is it doing what um, the student wants it to do? So like. I, I wrote all of these based on the purpose of the project. So Fatima wanted to inform students about the negative side effects of eating unhealthy in hopes that her poster will convince students to choose more healthy eating options. So um, in order to do that, she need to, needed to make posters that inform students how to eat healthy, right? Um, so I looked through them and found that some of them don't even talk about um, how to eat healthy. So any that that's the kinds of things I expect from here. So now we kind of go to um, how satisfied were you with each of the posters. Um, so this is kind of an average. Um, so if I was to look across these, I kind of look at the fonts. For these three, they look really great. They're, they're, this one's dynamic. It's all sorts of different varieties of fonts, but they all look really good together. Same for this one. Um, this one's less diverse, but it looks really good together and easy to read and these ones are appealing and easy to read this one not so much like this is all over the place it kind of looks strange um, i know it's for kids but generally speaking you can make posters for kids that um, look good for adults too and for adults this is a little bit too um i don't know there's there's, too, there's some font for example this one here that's too hard to read and some of these that just don't look appealing at all like um this one here for example just the, of course this is this is your opinion um everyone's opinions are different about how something looks ap appealing but this is the feedback is your opinion so i'm going to write overall that this is about a four um overall the font was really good the colors this one looks nice, this one looks nice, this one looks nice, this one's not so good. It's too many different colors. So I'll say it's about a four as well. Communication, um, I'd say communication of the message. So this is what that means. Communication is, is it, is it actually telling me um, what it wants? Is, is it actually teaching me, informing me of its, of its topic? So this one isn't. This one kind of is not, this one's not really that good. Um, and this one is, so I would say something like a three. Um, pictures, uh, the, these pictures are really nice, um, high quality, and they look very appealing. Uh, this one doesn't have any, so I would say about three as well. Clarity of images and font, so this is clear, this is clear, this is clear. But this one you can kind of see, I don't know, uh, it's, it's okay. You can see kind of like bits of like it looks a little bit fuzzy on the edges of this one here and some of these words. So I, I'll give it about a four. Components of the project. So that would be um, you would have to look at components. So go to components. So let's ha have a look at her components. They're not complete, unfortunately, in this time. So I'm going to give it a two. Uh, drafts. So these are the drafts that you're looking at. So just overall, what do you think of the drafts? I'll say they're about uh, three because of communication problems and um, uh, because of pictures, the, the pictures on this one. And overall score, say about a three. So on, on here, you'd kind of just talk about um, anything that you um, haven't added here. So I feel like I need to mention, because I never mentioned in this one what the problem was, was with this poster, because this actually dragged down the scores of, on here. Um, so I'll just say, for the poster with no pictures from a distance, it doesn't, it isn't appealing um, because the, there are too many colors and the fonts aren't appealing and don't match don't, and don't fit, uh, don't look good, don't look good together. Um, I also think um, that um, there should be pictures on the poster to communicate um, that that uh, what what the poster is about from a distance. Yeah, so this is an example of what I would write. 
um, this is a decent decent uh, feedback. So what what I'll say is um, when you are giving when you're actually the one that's giving uh, the the student uh, your when you're the one that's actually giving the Google form to someone else, you're asking for feedback. Name each poster, like name one poster, post like say for instance, name this one poster one, poster two, poster three, poster four, so that it's clear when they're talking about your posters in the Google form, uh, it's clear which one they're talking about. It makes it easier for them. Um, you want to send all four of your posters. You want to send your um, your uh, proposal, and you also want to send your uh, component. Uh, sorry, you also need to send your components. Uh, so, so just to clarify again, the four posters and your proposal and your components is what you send along with the Google form. Um, so, I'm going to write all of that down in the in the in the Google Classroom post for this. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know if you have any questions in class. Um, otherwise, uh, good luck.